we are going to move on again. This is our third, an third anchorage? We're going to go to our fourth anchorage of the day. <laughs> this is the most I've ever picked up anchor in one day and traveled on, but... Coming up on our last few days in the San Blas Islands, yet there was still quite a bit that we wanted to see. So we set off from Green Island on a beautiful day for another anchorage. We were starting to head back towards the western end of San Blas, where the anchorages are typically a bit busier. The first of the anchorages we pulled into was Isnazdu, also known as the pool. It was an interesting looking anchorage on Navionics and I was excited to see what it was all about. It seemingly had no protection around it, but it turned out that once again a reef was protecting this very small anchorage and it was a beautiful spot with no one in it. Another catamaran had just pulled out a bit before we started getting closer to it, so we would have the whole place to ourselves. I'm standing watch as there's quite a narrow channel underwater to get in through here. Um, it doesn't get too shallow, but it gets shallower. So just being careful and making sure we don't run aground while we go in. The reason it's called the pool is because it's totally protected by the sandbar. So on the outside, you can see the little bit of chop that's in the waves, and then the inside is totally calm. It's pretty amazing. Pretty nice. The thing about San Blas is that it's super popular islands to come to, so rarely do you get your own anchorage. But here we are, we have our own anchorage. It's pretty awesome. Nobody around us right now. And it's well known to be really good holding in here, so it's not as if there's no good holding, and it's just, uh, it's supposed to be good holding, and it's a nice quiet anchorage, but it's a less popular as many boats come through here. One just left, so we took their spot. <laughs> On the way 
out to Dog Island, we stopped by a tiny island to go for a nice little swim. And once again, we were all by ourselves, so did some naked snorkeling, which was a lot of fun. The reef around the island didn't have much to it, but we did see some smaller reef fish, and Ruri became friends with this huge lobster that was hanging out under his rock. mistaken. I thought we were going to an anchorage over there, but we're actually going right there. Um, this is like the most populated island I've seen since being here. So I'm just going to turn around and anchor next to that boat over there. You can see the water is already starting to get a little shallower. Standing out here, watching, making sure we don't hit anything. <laughs> Hopefully, we don't. New tradition when I get to new places. Take a dive. Water is lovely. Actually really warm. <laughs> We got to what we thought would be our last anchorage at Dog Island. There was some talk of some wrecks to dive on here, so I was excited to check these out. Turns out it was just a bit of a tourist trap for the day trippers out to these islands, but still fun to snorkel around nonetheless. Navionics showed there was to be another wreck nearby, but we couldn't find it.
like a tourist wreck, which we snorkeled a bit, which you'll see, but, uh, or you have seen, but, uh, yeah, nothing really interesting. It's kind of sad, actually, there's a bunch of dead coral around here. So, and, like, all the tourist boats seem to come here, so we are going to move on again. This is our third, I think, third anchorage? We're going to go to our fourth anchorage of the day. <laughs> This is the most I've ever picked up anger in one day and traveled on, but we decided it's not really worth it to stay here. So. On to the next! So we came here and Dog Key? Dog Key. It's where I guess a lot of tourist boats come. There are a ton of launches coming here. Um, I just can't imagine being a tourist and just coming here thinking even it's on locks. Like, even I feel like I haven't seen some locks. And there's so much more to see than two very touristic islands <laughs> where, where you can get beer on the island and play volleyball. But hey, keeps it right? But now we're going over to Anchorage I was mentioning before, which has like 30 boats in it. But it's a good place to take off because unfortunately tomorrow we're heading back to Lindsay Bay. Um, so we kind of end up somewhere close to the end. So Place this whole time so far. <laughs> have a nice relaxing evening and get ready to leave that block tomorrow. On our last night, we got to enjoy this absolutely stunning sunset and take in all that we had seen during our time here. morning, we are heading back west to Linton Bay. So we are in Sound Blast for about two weeks or two and a half weeks, we kind of lost count. Time went so fast as we thought, we felt like we were there for months, but uh, woke up about four o'clock this morning and uh, Set off and head to Linton Bay now. So should be there uh, later this afternoon. It's a short sail over. And uh, yeah, pretty calm outside. A lot calmer than when we came in. Some hot. Um, hoping the winds pick up a little bit. They're coming from the south, which is interesting. But a uh, beautiful day. And hopefully, I'll have a nice evening. I hope you enjoyed seeing the San Blas Islands as much as we did. There are so many more places to see and dive, and the Kuna were such lovely people. I was in awe the whole time I was there and cannot wait to go back. Please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to follow along as we sail back to Bocas and I finally catch my first fish off a sailboat. Until next time, cheers!